Alright guys, so today we are going to be talking a little bit about Ghost of Tsushima. Now, we've been talking a lot about many other PlayStation 4 games, some of the upcoming ones. We've been talking about Death Stranding recently for good reasoning. We just found out it's going to be releasing November 8th of this year, which is extremely exciting. I honestly can't wait for that. I was honestly very surprised to find out about that. We've been talking a lot about The Last of Us Part 2, and that will play a part within this conversation naturally today. Um, and there's been a lot of leaks, a lot of rumors, a lot of speculation, and fans are certainly getting very antsy when it comes to The Last of Us Part 2 because of how quiet it's been. Uh, but a game that a lot of you have been asking me to talk about a little bit more recently is Ghost of Tsushima. There's a lot of you, including myself, who are very, very excited for this game and just want to know more about it. It seems like Sony has been playing things very, very close to the chest. They've been very quiet with their games. And it's clear with what we learned with Death Stranding recently that they will wait till, I don't want to say the last minute, but they will wait a while before announcing any major news like a release date or anything. And they will do it within six months of a game launching. So I feel like that's an important thing to uh, take note of. But what we're going to be talking about here is Ghost of Tsushima's release date and how it is reportedly going to release uh, in the first half of 2020. Now, this is uh, a little bit stressful for some people because we just went over the rumor or the information of in a supposed internal delay regarding The Last of Us Part 2. And there's a lot of people who say, I don't want to hear that until it's officially confirmed. I don't believe it. I'm not even going to listen to it. Totally understandable. The most important thing we need to establish before getting going any further is that all of this is just um, unofficial, you know, hearsay, unofficial, supposed insider information. And may, you could argue that maybe there's a reason we're not supposed to know any of this is because maybe even Sony doesn't know exactly what their plans are yet, and they're kind of just doing it as they go. Uh, as unlikely as that may seem, it could certainly be a possibility, and it could explain why they've been so quiet. But that's not going to stop us from speculating and going over this, because it's the closest thing we have to official information. So sorry for taking so long to get to it, but let's get into it. According to a new report, Sucker Punch and Sony Interactive Entertainment's upcoming PlayStation 4 exclusive, Ghost of Tsushima, will release in the first half of 2020. As you may know, of the remaining three big PS4 exclusives, Death Stranding, The Last of Us Part Two, and Ghost of Tsushima, we know the least about the Samurai game from Sucker Punch. We've seen quite a bit of Death Stranding, and know it will release on November 8th. Meanwhile, we haven't seen as much of The Last of Us Part Two, but we know it wrapped up capture work last month, suggesting it's poised for a late 2019 or early 2020 release. And then there's Ghost of Tsushima, we haven't seen much from it, and there's been nothing suggesting it's releasing anytime soon. As a result, many have speculated it will be a cross-gen release that will arrive in late 2020, and this may still be the case, but according to Kotaku's Jason Schreier, the 13th century samurai game is coming in the first half of 2020 along with The Last of Us Part Two. The claim from the Kotaku journalist came during an interaction with a curious Twitter user who seemed a bit skeptical that so many big games were releasing in the first half of 2020, but according to Schreier, it's true. So this is what the tweet said. Somebody had tweeted out, that uh, goes by the name Honey, so we could possibly be getting at least Cyberpunk, The Last of Us Part 2, Ghost of Tsushima, George R.R. R. Martin's From Software game, 1 to 2 Ubisoft AAA games, and Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 1 in the first half of next year? Hmm. And Jason Schreier replied with, Based on what I've heard, yes to all of those. 2020 is going to be wild. So the article goes on to say here, Now I've been hearing for a, and this is what the article writer is saying, not what I'm saying. Now I've been hearing for a while that Ghost of Tsushima is releasing somewhere between late August and the launch of the PS5 in the fall. In other words, what Schreier is reporting here seems to conflict what I've heard about the game myself. Further, it seems odd to release the game close to The Last of Us Part 2 and potentially leave yourself lighter in the fall window. 
That said, Schreier's sources tend to be reliable, so it's certainly quite possible the game is releasing in the first half of 2020. Who knows? As always, take all of this information about a release window with a grain of salt. Not only is it all unofficial information, but things change in development all the time. So yeah, again, stressing that last part. We don't know if any of this could be true, but I find it extremely interesting. First, I want to say, wow, if, you know... <laughs> If what Jason Schreier is saying, not just about Ghost of Tsushima, but about the first half of 2020, could you imagine that? That sounds insane. I know that we're not even, you know, through this holiday season yet, and we just got that Modern Warfare announcement, which I'm actually really excited about. I may make a separate video talking about that, because it sounds really cool. It sounds like they're going to be doing something cool with Call of Duty this year for the first time in a long time, but... Hearing about the first half of 2020 all those games is insane. Ghost of Tsushima launching in the first half of 2020 and The Last of Us Part 2 launching in the first half of 2020, I don't think that's going to happen. I really don't. I mean, unless we see a situation where The Last of Us Part 2 uh, comes out in February, which even then I've talked about the idea that that may be too close to Death Stranding because the important thing with these games... Sony has to ensure they give them breathing room. It's really important, not just for uh, gamers' sake, you know, the, the gamers' sake to be able to have time to play them, but also, uh, you know, you got to think about how expensive games are and, you know, kind of giving, spacing them out makes it feel a lot easier on people's wallets and, and you know, uh, it doesn't feel as difficult, I guess you could say, to, um, to really balance it all. I just don't see it happening because you have to think about marketing, right? We know that they're going to be marketing Death Stranding leading up to November 8th. And then so going from November 8th into, let's just say, February, because that's the latest uh, rumor we heard, at least with a actual month we've heard February. Is that enough time? I mean, between November 8th and, let's just say, the end of February, is that enough time to market The Last of Us Part Two? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Uh, like I said in the beginning of this video, Sony has proven that they will announce a release date pretty close to when it's going to release. Like, they will leave a smaller window. You know, they're not going to announce a release date a year out at this point. I just don't think they're going to do that. And I think that's very smart. But we have to try to think about this. Like, if Ghost of Tsushima were to actually launch in the first half of 2020 alongside The Last of Us Part Two, maybe we could see a mid to late February launch of The Last of Us Part Two. And then maybe we could see Ghost of Tsushima launching maybe at the end of May or maybe sometime in June. That would still be like the first half, right? But it seems kind of crazy to me, especially I th considering how little we have seen and heard of Ghost of Tsushima. What this article states is pretty important that we haven't really heard or seen much of it. I mean, what we have seen and heard gets people very excited, but... I don't know. It just seems kind of crazy to me. It seems much more likely to me that Ghost of Tsushima will be a holiday 2020 title for Sony. If you look at Sony's track record recently, it seems like they aim for two major AAA exclusive titles a year. You look in 2018, we had God of War, and then we had Spider-Man. You look uh, this year, we're going to have Days Gone and then Death Stranding. So it would just make sense to me if going into 2020, we have The Last of Us Part Two in the first half and then Ghost of Tsushima in the second half. Because another thing this article writer brings up as well uh, that I find fascinating to think about is if Sony were to do this, I mean, I think it would be a little bit risky. I really do. I feel like Ghost of Tsushima, Tsushima would actually suffer a little bit if it launched this close to The Last of Us Part Two, considering how much of a juggernaut The Last of Us Part Two is actually going to be. I know they are very different games in many respects, but still, I think it's just kind of dangerous to do that. It does make you think, well, what could we expect for a holiday of 2020? Because if most of us are sitting here expecting either The Last of Us Part Two or Death or uh, Ghost of Tsushima for holiday 2020, but we get both of those within the first half of 2020, well then what could we expect then? Maybe there's a chance that Sony has a big title, a big title, like let's say Horizon Zero Dawn 2, possibly lined up for the launch of the PlayStation 5 and 
when we think about the launch of the PlayStation 5, I don't think there's any doubt that Sony's going to want to have at least one major AAA exclusive title lined up to go with it. It could be Ghost of Tsushima, but again, Ghost of Tsushima is a PS4 title first, not a PS5 title first. I do think that whatever this big PS5 title is going to be will also launch on the PlayStation 4, so it could be Ghost of Tsushima. I think it would make a lot of sense, actually, if it ended up being Ghost of Tsushima. But if we think that maybe Sony feels as though they would have a better chance selling more PlayStation 5 units with a known IP and established, a very successful established IP now with Horizon Zero Dawn rather than a new IP with Ghost of Tsushima, maybe there's a chance they want to try to get Ghost of Tsushima out sooner. Maybe they could do a situation where they just do a summer launch, maybe in July or August, and I think that that would potentially leave enough time between uh, you know, the summer and the holiday PlayStation 5 launch. I don't know, guys. I really don't know. If I had to put my money on it and just give my guess, I would say we're going to see The Last of Us Part 2 within the first half of 2020, probably maybe March, maybe even April. I think February just seems a little too soon to me. So around that time. And then we're going to find out that Ghost of Tsushima is going to be the big holiday title for Sony um, you know, going into the PlayStation 5. But I also think Sony will have a few other surprises alongside the PlayStation 5 as well. I do not see Sony being foolish enough, however, to actually launch Ghost of Tsushima at the same time as the PS5, unless it's going to be the only title they launch alongside the PS5. The reason why I say that is because, again, just have to stress here, breathing room for these games is essential. It's important. These are big games. These are not small games, and they're going to require a lot of marketing, and they're just going to have to have their own space and time dedicated to them if they're going to be successful. I would like to think that Sony surely knows this by this point. That's why they've been doing this formula where they want to release two major titles a year, one in the first half, the other in the second half. It's been working great for them. I don't really see why they would deviate from that. So that's my guess here. If I had to try to make sense of this, I do not think uh, this report is accurate, at least from Jason Schreier. I don't. I wouldn't call it a report. He didn't make a report on it, but this reply, maybe he was just a little bit confused or maybe he read the tweet too quickly and I will say we are certainly maybe looking into it a little too much but regardless hey it's good news all around we got a lot of games to look forward to and I love taking any opportunity I can to talk about these upcoming games especially games like Ghost of Tsushima and The Last of Us Part 2 but yeah that's going to do it for the video guys I don't want to drag it out too long at this point I'm going to ask you to leave your thoughts down in the comments below when do you honestly think we're going to be getting Ghost of Tsushima do you believe this do you believe what Jason Schreier saying about the Last of Us Part 2 and Ghost of Tsushima both being within the first half of 2020? Or does that sound unrealistic to you? Leave your thoughts down below. Leave the video a like if you did enjoy it. And if you enjoy the content, it really helps it out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit the bell notification icon as well. And you can be notified anytime I upload a new video. And feel free to share the video out on top of all that. But until next time, guys, take care.